Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Xbox 360. I got another Xbox 360. It's the Jasper. It's either the Jasper or the Falcon. I bought it for $100 from my friend at school. It came with a 20 gig hard drive and a wireless controller and the Xbox. Uh, so, yeah, I just want to get that out there. I'm trying to JTAG so I can do the 10th lobbies, but apparently it's not as easy as I thought. So, what you're going to need for this. To do that, to take apart this Xbox, you're going to need, you have to have this. You can't, like, use a flathead screwdriver and bend it. Like, I've, I heard some people say, you can't, you can't do that at all. What you need is a, you're going to need a Torx 10 screw or a bit. I have the bit set here because I couldn't find any screwdrivers. You want to go to any hardware store. We'll probably have these. Uh, I got mine for $3.99. It was on the clearance, this little clearance table, you know. Because they didn't have them. And then the guy, I'm like, do you have any Torx hand screwdriver? He's like, you know what? I think I have one of those on my clearance table or whatever. And sure enough, he goddamn, he did. I went for three ninety nine to Radio Shack, so, sold the little screwdrivers. But it was just one screwdriver, just a Torx 10. And I don't want to pay $7 for just one little screwdriver. So I went to Ace Hardware. Sure enough, here it is. Set that aside for now. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's hurting. I'm a little sick. So the first thing you're going to need is, here's the bit, it came with uh, this little extension thing, so if you got like a ratchet or whatever, I got this little little ratchet looking thing, I guess. It came with, so it came with this extension, just clip it on there and it's like a screwdriver now, so yeah, easy. And the next thing you're going to need is a small flathead screwdriver, so let's get into this. Sorry, this is a bad camera angle. Uh, I'm trying to work with what I got. Don't got a t don't got a little dresser next to it at the end of my bed anymore. So, what you're gonna need the small flathead screwdriver right here is, like you might have seen in one of my other videos, you want to take this bottom grill off. Well, first, first of all, you want to remove your faceplate. You can do this by sticking your thumb in right here at the bottom and just pulling it off. It comes off easy. Snap. Snap. Crack. Pop. You're gonna have to remove your warranty sticker, so this will void your warranty. No big deal. Uh, nothing can go wrong here unless you. I have had uh, skill doing this. I've done this. I'll take up. I've took apart electronics for years now. I'm comfortable working with them, so yeah, no, no big problem. Next, you want to remove your hard drive. Push in the button. Pull it out. Now you want to take your small flathead screwdriver. Turn it over. Oh, I'm trying to get a better angle here. You want to stick it in these little holes until you find this little thing. See, there's the first one. There's the second one. Then the third one. The very back right here. Third one. And it should pop out like that. Sorry, that's a bad angle. Yeah. Turn it around. Do the same thing to the other side, just prying it up. There's little tabs in here you have to push, push on. You might have to search around to find it, but you'll know when you find it. There's the second to last one. Last one, come on. There we go. And it snaps out that easy. Set that aside for now. Now here's a little bit harder one, the top one. This is a mother. Because it took me so long, oh my god, to figure out what I had to do. It's basically the same thing, but you can't get in it from the front. So there's these two little holes. Right here. Hold on, let me adjust my camera. Right here, you want to stick your screwdriver in right here and pry it to the side. Might have to. There, see, I got that side. And you want to do the same to the other side. There, see? It's easy once you know how to do it. See, it's coming up. Let's zoom out. You basically want to do the same thing you did to the bottom. You just want to find those little tabs. And push them, and then you'll know when you hit it because it'll pop up. You just want to 
search around for it. There, I got it. Turn around to the other side here. Same thing. Try to find it. There it is. Now the, the last one on the side where there's the rubber knobs to keep it from moving around, you're going to have to put your flathead screwdriver in that. Now some people like to take it out. I just take my flathead screwdriver and push it in there and it comes off. I'm to get this one. There you go. It's off. That's it's pretty much a piece of cake from uh, here. So uh, my mom and dad home. So it's pretty much easy from here. Okay, now you're ready to take the case off. I usually like to get the front side first, but let me zoom out. It's just me. It seems like it's easier if I get the front side first, so. You have to remove your warranty sticker. Once you remove it, there's a little black dot. You can't use a blow dryer anymore and take it off. There's a black dot right there. <clears throat> but it don't matter because this is a Jasper and you can't get the red ring of death on the Jasper. Well, at least I don't know that. I don't got fingernails right now, so I can't pull it up. You just want to pry these. There's four. Two right here, one right here, and one small one at the bottom. And you can see it's open. But you want to turn it over to the back side. And if you can see here, there are these little dents or holes or whatever. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's four, uh, five right here, and two down at the bottom. You want to take your small flathead screwdriver and push in on them. You'll hear them pop. That's a good sound. Usually on electronics, it's not a good sound, but here, you hear that pop noise. <clears throat> you can only. No, it's not right. Just get it all the way down. <clears throat> yeah, hold it open, or it will close back on you, and you'll have to restart over. And it's not fun to do this all day. It actually hurts, sorry, it's bad camera angle. It's does be tiring. So. Mm. There you go. There's the cat. Don't let it snap back together or you'll have to restore it, like I said. <coughs> This is the hardest part. I don't know why. It's just like these things on the back here are like so weird. There, you just want to snap. Put your screwdriver in between the right here in the middle. Snap it. There we go. Finally. Let's put it on its side and pull this off. There you go. Now you can see the metal side where the X clamps would be, where the <clears throat> RAM chips are, down here. This is where you're going to need your Torx 10 screwdriver. I've seen some video tutorials where kids don't say what kind of screwdriver you need. You need a Torx 10, the special Torx 10 with the hole in the middle. I'll take a picture of it real quick to show you. I don't know if you see that good enough, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to get a better camera angle and I'll be right back.